Hey, Cliff! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Just kidding! Hey, there he is, kid! <laughs> Just kidding! Nice. I, uh... I rolled out, uh... At one of the opening, uh... Uh, one of the opening professional developments this year in our Performing Arts Center with our entire faculty. And uh, I ran out on the stage with my Russell Wilson Denver Broncos jersey on to uh, many boos and, uh, and, uh, and I think the joke was on me in the end. Um, <laughs> so I might be rethinking that, but um, no, uh, it is tremendous to be here. And um, I was asked by someone at my table just, I was scanning around and they said, who are you looking for? I wasn't looking for anyone. I was just amazed by all these faces. Some who I've known uh, since I arrived in the district 14 years ago. Some who are new, some who I've forged new relationships with, and some who I haven't even seen in person in quite a while. And I know that's all sat with us to a certain degree as we've all been enduring what we've endured. But uh, this morning's a celebration. Uh, it's a celebration of our school district, it's a celebration of our students, our staff, um, and others. So, um, Zhao Shen Hao, Ohio, Saba Al Hari, Buenos, uh, Buenos Dias, good morning. I could go on with trying to welcome all of you in the languages that are spoken in our district. But it's going to take me a while, and I think Tammy said I have four minutes, but I illustrate that. We have 54 languages spoken by students in our school district. We have, in our school district today, 94 different races, and over 5,000 different ways our students identify themselves. We have 23 ethnicities represented in our school district with our students. And we continue to change and evolve and grow and, and become more diverse. And with that more complex diversity becomes more joy, becomes more wonder, becomes more opportunity. Before I continue, I also want to thank a few people. Um, Julie Dufier, Bridget Olson, Tammy Shoup, uh, where are you in the audience? Hopefully you'll get thanked many times, but they are the leaders of our foundation, working day in and day out, so thank you so much. I also want to uh, recognize, do we have any former school board members, former educators from the Mercer Island School District? If you could stand for a moment. Um, if you've been part of our school district and our journey in the past, would you please stand so we can recognize you? My hope is that you're proud of the district that we are today because you were so integral uh, to our journey to how we got here. And we always talk about our time in a school district is, is um, just a piece of the journey. The school district is bigger than any one person or one group, and we all have an opportunity to influence it along the way. And as we learned this morning, it's been since 1981 that our school's foundation has been influencing this district, making it even better and greater each and every year. I also want to have, if we could, our current staff, our administrators, our teachers, our paraprofessionals, um, admin assistants, nurses, if we have the, any of them in the room, and I know the morning stuff, if you could please stand so we could recognize our current staff. It is an honor and a privilege to work side by side with so many tremendous educators who are all here committed to making sure that students are definitely our priority and they are why we're here. They're why we build the schools, they're why we come here each and every single day. And today is the day where we get an opportunity uh, to highlight so many of their talents. We've been talking this year about making sure that all of our students feel a deep sense of belonging in our schools that they believe in themselves and that they know that they have educators and parents and, and bus drivers who are there who believe in them. We've been talking about breaking down barriers so that all students, regardless of their differences, regardless of their needs, their strengths, their talents, that they have an opportunity in our schools. And most importantly, perhaps, as we've been talking about broadcasting student voice, whether or not that's highlighting talented um, singers, 
performers, robotics engineers, athletes, all of our students have a voice in our school district and we'll continue to lift those up. So I was hired in March of 2009. Uh, I was still in Colorado trying to follow the district the best I could. Um, there wasn't a lot of social media at that time, so it was more the website. And I remember in 2009 being absolutely stunned because one of the very first breakfasts that we had as part of the school's foundation was built and was born out of the recession. And it was a time when we were trying to bridge the gap as funding was dwindling from the state from the recession and the school's foundation held a breakfast of champions and I knew nothing about it in Colorado. We had a school's foundation, 60,000 students. If we raised about 150,000, we were doing great. And I remember that first message that came across the next day on the website, something near $435,000 and I was absolutely stunned and I knew I was going to an amazing place and it wasn't because of the dollar figure, it was because of the support from the families that I knew I was gonna be surrounded with and the staff who I'd be working with um, in our schools. So it has stuck with me since 2009, just how important our school's foundation is. There is a gap. We've talked about the gap. I've been out on a road show with Director Sullivan and Director Adams, and we've been talking about that. And we could dwell on all of that today, but that's not what today's about. Today is about how we've overcome, how we've persevered, and how we're gonna continue to make this district the most exceptional district in our state and rival right up there with all districts in the country. We have the talented staff, we have the community, and we have the students, and we have a really, really great school district. And what I love most about it is, no one wants us to just stop trying. No one wants us to continue to work to make our school district even better for our students tomorrow. So we're back in, we're back in person today. Um, we have a great, uh, we have a great uh, opportunity and a great show for you today to be able to really highlight where our students are excelling, some of the staff that make that happen. Um, but as you look up here on our priority funding, what is wonderful about our school's foundation is just like our levies, every single dollar comes back to the district. And when we come together and we raise the money, we have biology texts, we have algebra, geometry, algebra two, we have iReady math in elementary, we have a seven, eight compacting math opportunity that we're looking to grow, we have benchmark literacy, um, all of these are made possible. And people oftentimes ask me, you know, in a $70 million budget, how much does uh, 800,000 really impact? It impacts a lot. And it's not always just direct. It's the opportunity for us to take dollars that are constricted by the state and spend them in a different way than on some of these things. So you, as a community, allow us to do so much more. It's about indirect and direct impact on our students each and every day. And I had the opportunity to work in learning services for seven or eight years and had the opportunity to work firsthand with those funds and continue to do so today. So from me to all of you who are here this morning, those who couldn't be here and to our foundation, thank you so much. It absolutely means uh, the world to us. So with that, I'll bring back up Hillary and Cliff. Thank you for being here today, the two of you. You hosted online, and now you're hosting back in person, and it is tremendous to see you today. Thank you all for being here. Go on.